Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning about the free select and scissor select tools. These tools share common options with all the selection tools. Click the card in the upper right hand corner to learn more about these options. First, let's look at the free select tool. To instantly use this tool, click and drag out a selection. You can create both points and freely drawn selections with this tool. By clicking and dragging, we can free draw. But by simply clicking on different areas in our canvas, points and lines will be created. We can combine both the free draw and point method in one selection. To close a selection, simply connect the end and beginning points together. Notice how this original point becomes highlighted once we want to close it. Once closed, the selection will become active. Note that you can edit previous points, but you can't edit any of the freely drawn areas. After your selection becomes active, you won't be able to draw another selection with this tool. But if you select another tool, and then reselect the free select tool, you will be able to draw a new selection. This is good if you want to use the mode Add to the Current Selection to add extra parts to the total selection. To get rid of a selection, go up to Select, None. Now let's look at the Scissors Select tool. This tool goes a bit further than the Free Select tool and will snap to edges of color in your project. This works best when there's a high contrast between your subject and the background. Watch as I create points around this flower, how it snaps to the edges of the petals. By selecting Interactive Boundary, we will be able to see where the boundaries are formed as we drag out a point. Watch as I click and drag out the point, how the boundaries are analyzed in real time. Note that this works best for points made close to one another. As you can see as I try to move over here for it to analyze this bottom part, it completely negates it and continues. So if I wanted to really get this bottom petal in here, I would make small points to make sure it's included within the selection. Just like the free select tool, we can click on the beginning point to close the selection. Then hit enter, and an active selection will be created. And that's it. You now know how to use the free select and scissor select tools in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.